Hey, Max here. Uh, shout out to David Jaffe. I was just on his show. I just was randomly popping around while I was getting ready to turn off the computer. I was like, wow, good timing. He's bringing on people. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so I got to talk to him a little bit. Man, I should check my mic when I go on to... Actually, I, for, I should check it right now. Is it the right mic? Hold on. Uh, yeah, it keeps defaulting to my camera mic instead of my microphone. Okay, so I'm just going to show this here, but you go check out uh, Jaffe's full stream. I'm going to stop talking, and I'll show you the clip where I was on talking about the Game Awards, my criticisms of the Game Awards with David Jaffe. And uh, let me know in the comments section, please, thumbs up the video if you would like me and Rhea to get him on for the Have You Met series for an interview. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to bring this up. Let me make sure the audio is there. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. And that's going to be full screen. And I'm going to mute myself. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if I did okay besides the audio. I think that's great. Good for him. Yeah. They're, I they're just wish there was more, more time for the devs to be up there. It seems like, and that's the other thing, dude. But he, that exists, but nobody wants to see that. Nobody smaller. really wants to fucking see that. That's the end of the day. It's a show. Right. Upcoming up uh, I'm going to bring on Max right in a now. second, right. Ravnos. Wrap it up. You get the last word. Go. Well, the last word is, even though I don't think the overall package was pretty good, I think there's a lot of cool games coming down the pike. So as a gamer, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited to talk about the games. We'll do that soon. All right, man. I'll yep. talk to you soon. Later, man. All right. Uh, let me bring on Maxwell. Well, let me bring on Max, and I'll see if Calpy's back. Max, it's Jaffe. What's hey, going on, buddy? How's it going? I'm a, I'm a big fan of your work. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Thanks for saying that. Modern War, uh, Twisted Metal. Cool, nice man. Thank job. you very yeah, much. I just... I just talked. I did a whole stream on my channel too, of watching it. It was it was long. It was long. It was but absolutely I, long. I honestly rate, rate I the could, show. What did you think? What was the rate rate the show? Well, I was happy because I'm a Sega fan. Like seeing Sonic Racing and Virtual Fighter, I heard that right. they were bringing it back, and it looked like I was afraid that Sega was going to do like a bare bones Virtual Fighter Six. It just looked like a slight upgrade from Five. Right. And it it looked great. Um, the Naughty Dog game looked great. At the end, I was happy about that. Did you think, okay, well, let me ask you, did you think the Naughty Dog game looked great or you were excited there's a new game coming from Naughty Dog? Both. At okay, first, so, I was like, this looks generic. And then yes. it was like, then it was putting little more pieces in there. Um, You know, like, there was a lot of like product placement too. I was like, oh, well, this is kind of a, you know, but it was fun. And then I saw Kamaj Nanjali as like a bounty up there. And then right. as she's putting on the jacket, it's like, okay, this has got some flavor to this um, space adventure. Right. And then uh, Naughty Dog. Yeah. They're, they're, I really think anything they work on next is also going to be considered for movies and TV too. Like there's consistently. So uh, I was really happy about that. What the last yes. guy was saying about, and you, what you were saying about, I also was like, oh, this isn't really fair to the developers, but there's very, even though they're creative rock stars in the industry, I don't think a lot of people carry the personality like uh, Kojima and like even you, like if you like back in the day when you were active creating games, if you got on there, you'd probably make it lively. You know, there's not yeah, a lot I mean, of there. there it, it, it is at the end of the day, a show, right? I mean, I remember watching when my kids were young, they used to watch this show on Disney called uh, good luck, Charlie, which was like a, a live action show. And the dad of the family worked, I believe, in grocery stores. And for some reason, it just stuck with me. There was one episode where he went to an award show in his industry, and he won like a little trophy for best grocery store manager, right? So it's like, I, you know, celebrating people in their industries and in their fields sort of privately is, is great. But if you are going to spend a lot of money and put cameras on people, it is, they, they by very nature, become part of the show. And if they're not interesting, you know, what do you want, Keely? Do you I, really want to sit there and listen to, you know, best animated rigging of, of 2024? I, I, I mean, but I like, I give Keely respect to, I know people really don't like him. Um, but it was, I very like him. Solid. I think he, yeah. 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 I have no problems with him personally. I'm, I appreciate any awards given to all these creatives. It did seem like really self indulgent towards the end of like, I almost stopped. My friend left. 
when the coolest trailer got there, because like, oh my God, he's going to talk about the 10 years. It focused on him a lot. And then yes. even though a lot of creative directors, although they're amazing, ima amazing imagination and they create really great worlds, um, they they are not interesting. But the way he did it seemed disrespectful. Like it just a just a, ba a banner on the, the left side of the screen. Okay, you win. Okay, you win. Okay, there's yeah. got to be something in the middle that's better there, than that. There's there's tons of things in the middle. But I mean, I yeah. I, I think there's a. I always think this, so you know, I, I don't have any interest in, in making a show like that because it's not what I do. But you do really look at it and go, okay, well, if your number one goal is to entertain, that's 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 I respect that. But and, and you also want to say you want to celebrate the games and stuff. There's lots of ways to do that that aren't just standing there reading. Yeah, that's right? what it, mm -hmm. that seems disrespectful. And meanwhile, you get the the cringy like you think the Oscars are bad, the cringiest uh, skits. And dialogue that was like right. It's like whoa. There it was. Well, it's like if you're gonna do that, then do that well. Like when Sam Lake came out and it was all in his head. I'm like, okay. Out of you know, it's almost like you put you know all 15 presenter skits on a on a board and go, which ones are working, which ones are not funny yet. And and as of tonight, I would say the Sam Lake one where he comes out and has the inner monologue that felt worthy of like my time. I'm like, that was funny. That was kind of creative. That stays everything else back to the drawing board, motherfuckers. It's like pay some fucking writers to come in and really what, come up with. What would you think would make it better? I'm sorry, sorry, Jeff. I would say get an actual host next time. <clears throat> like a comedian. I, yeah. Like yeah, even, I the, even the Muppets were like so refreshing. The, the, whatever yes. The, whatever, I was like, they're the best part of the show. Yes, they got the best. They should just host the whole show next time. I'd be happy. I'm with you 100. I like Jeff a lot, and I think Jeff should always be a presence yes. at the show, and he should yeah. kick it off and close it. But I've been to award shows in video games where they hired a real comedian, and it was awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm with you on that. And then he deserves to make his bag. Like you're not opposed to making money, mm -mm. but it really feels like the amount of trailers is like he will never say no to a trailer. Like oh, this. I'm sure he says no to a lot of trailers. Oh, you think? Okay, because I think he gets should... paid. He's got only so many slots, and people okay. pay him, and he's oh, like, he "Well, volume. You, you believe? He well, I mean, you know, I he can extend it if he wants, yeah. but I I know that there's a lot of people banging down his door, going, "Can I please be part of this?" And he's like, "Well, if you can pay, but he also needs to make sure, you know, for example, if tonight wouldn't have been successful, and it seems like it's more than half of the audience seems to think it was a really good show." Summer game show, he can't charge as much. He can't get as much, you know. So every show he's got to sort of prove the value. So when he goes out to get more for the next show, people are like, Oh, I want to be part of that. But but I'm with you, man. Get another host, hundred percent. And and, yeah, and I, change, I, I don't want him to be I, not on at all, like you said. That's just, right. Yeah. Get a better host, or not even better, but get someone who actually and, and not like this Sydney Goodman, she's fine, but you know, she's like a wheel of fortune. Vanna White, you know, there's nothing about her that's like, oh my God, she's so, you know, get a charismatic, interesting person to run the thing. That's A. B, do the awards in a different way because what they're doing now isn't working and it does come off as disrespectful and it's also boring, which is even more troubling. And then the other thing I think is, um, you know, find a way to make those skits better. And who needs the music? Does anybody really need the fucking music in this show? Did we need I Snoop Dogg? Mean, I love Did the music. Need... Oh, uh, Snoop Dogg always makes it better, actually. I mean, I, I like Snoop Dogg a lot. I like 21 Pilots. But when you tune into a video game show, are you like going, you know what I want? I'd like to sit and watch eight minutes of fucking music. I'm like, why? I don't get it. That was my least of my problems. But I I still had a great time because the announcements were stronger than I was expected. I was, right. I was pleasantly surprised with the um, now a game. So I was like, oh, this looks really good. Even yeah, there, there was definitely some good stuff, no doubt. Yeah. All right, man. I appreciate the call. Thank you, bud. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, I'd like, I, it's been a dream to actually talk to you. I hope to, in, in the future, uh, get an interview with you. I'll reach out. I'm to around. You. Hit me up. Hit me okay, up. Okay, sure. All right, man. Thanks a lot, man. Talk to you soon. Great. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, let me get this chat real quick. <clears throat> 